In the UK, there's burglary every 45 seconds. We've been broken into, that is, house broken into this car pinch. Then gone in our bedroom and everything's all over the floor, taking all my jewellery. I've just come down from bed. Uh, things are all over the house. But right across the country, dedicated police teams are on the offensive, waging war against the criminals who steal from local homeowners. Please, come and open the door, otherwise entry's going to have to be forced. For the victims of these crimes, it can take months, even years, to come to terms with what's happened. She done it years and years and years. But in this series, we're about to show them and you how we can all beat the burglars. This is Crime Scene Rescue. Coming up, we meet Dave and Dee and their two young children, six-year-old Charlie and three-year-old Poppy, a family whose home is at the heart of their lives. Dee and the kids have just mean everything to me, you know. They're fantastic, you know. Um, make me world. But it's all literally been turned upside down after being burgled, and the children have been left traumatised. She was visibly shaking as well, which she saw when she saw the window and everything there, so she was she upset, was upset, yeah. So whilst the police try to catch the criminals, I take on the massive challenge of making their house a safe and secure home. It feels like you got your family space back again. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Wow, that's amazing. West Yorkshire is policed by around 5,000 officers busy battling against crime. West Yorkshire Police, what's the emergency? Yeah, I'd like to report a burglary, please. It's 7.45pm and a break-in has just been reported. A police response team has been immediately dispatched to a property a few miles from Leeds city centre, where a family has returned home to discover they've been burgled. How have gained entry to the property? Uh, they've smashed the patio door windows. Hello, David. PC Graham Lawton is first on the scene. Oh, I'm angry and annoyed. Yeah? I'm very angry. And the fact that they've <laughs> so brazenly done it as well, by smashing a window like that, doesn't matter what lock you've got on your door, does it? They desperately get in, aren't they? took the iPads and the laptops and the kids' DS, that kind of thing. And then they've gone upstairs to our bedroom and they've gone through the top drawers, rifled through there to see they've looked in the yeah. jewellery boxes and things. I feel a bit sick. I still angry. feel it in my tummy. I don't know if that's, yeah, anger. I'm very angry and, you know, it, it, to be fair, it's not the first time this has happened as well, so it leaves you feeling a bit vulnerable, Vulner, to be yeah. fair. You know, they've, they've tried before to get in where they've broken a lock on the door. Uh, that was a, probably about six months or so ago, and then they've come back and they've obviously got in this time, but they've just used brute force. The and thing that unnerves me the most is the fact that the last time it happened, we'd literally gone out and we were only out 45 minutes, and then this time Dave's gone out to pick me up. And so obviously people were being watched. Whilst the family come to terms with what's happened, PC Lawton is wasting no time and is conducting door-to-door -door inquiries. And he's already beginning to piece together what's happened. And it appears that the offenders have come into the back garden, forced an entry to the garage. So they just got in and out top corner. Yeah, there, it's anything you can see that's missing that they might have They've used. They've one of them drawers there. Yeah, and then come back to the rear patio doors. A blunt instrument has cracked the glass. They took our son's Nintendo Christmas DS, present. which was a Christmas present, so he was really upset when he's heard about that. He's been in tears, so, yeah, hasn't he, about so, that? Well, the first thing he said was, have they taken Makalu, which is his little teddy? And he just sobbed, and he was all heartbroken. But Santa got me that. And Poppy said, have they been in my doll's house? And, you know, things like that. And she was very upset, She was she? upset, yeah. She said she felt really sad. I feel sad, Mummy. Um, and she was visibly shaking as well. And they took some of your jewellery, took one of your rings, something that you got yeah, for graduation. when you graduated. I suppose the things like the iPad and the DS we can replace, but that was had sentimental value, that, so... It's getting late, and the most important thing now is to secure the property for the night. Thankfully, Dave and Dee's friend, Keith, 
has rushed round to help them out. It's the crack of dawn, and I'm keen to get things moving to help the family put the burglary behind them. But first, scenes of crime officer Graham Bottomley needs to comb Dave and Dee's house for any forensic evidence. He's hunting for blood, fingerprints, footprints and DNA. So they've put like a screwdriver in there or something and then hocked it and then the glass is gone and there was just a... Like, just a nice, like you say, a nice entrance. Oh, there, nice for them to get in, the rest of it is all smashed yeah. above there. Just in and out when they want. If he can secure forensic evidence from the scene, this will give the police a 20% greater chance of catching the thief. We've got glove marks pulling this down. We've got a similar kind of mark on your window outside. Right, OK. It's just a big game, really. We just carry on chasing them. If they're in the habit of smashing glass, they might cut themselves, they might leave us other things, they might get footwear from another scene. And uh, we'll just keep building up a picture of these burglars, because they'll do more than this one, obviously. They'll do quite a few. I'm keen to turn this hideous situation around. I want to firm up the security and put the heart back into this family's home. So I've come to meet them. So Dee and Dave, the first thing I've got to ask is, is how are you doing at the moment after what happened? Yeah, well, uh, really, the kids have been a bit upset about everything that's gone on. You know, uh, Poppy's not slept so well. She's been now coming into our bed at night, you know. Uh, we've had to keep the curtains closed, certainly the one where the window's being smashed, you know, to cover over them. So they, you know, they just don't like seeing that, do they? Charlie, obviously, this, this is your room where you used to play, isn't it? How do you feel, do you about, feel about it? About it? Um, obviously, quite upset because, um, you know, because it's DS. Because my DS went. And that was your little games console, wasn't it, that they stole? Yeah, all of the games except one. Other items that were gone, are they irreplaceable then? I mean, let's take your iPad. I, I imagine there's a lot of photos on that. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, all the, all the photos from last Christmas, really, you know, and we hadn't backed them up, you know, because it's not that long ago, is it? You know, and A long All the time. memories from that morning, which was brilliant, wasn't it? Because you were so happy when you got your, your present, weren't you? And I have obviously gone now. Yeah. And in addition, there was something else that was stolen, which is of massive yeah. sentimental value yeah, to yourself. Yeah, my um, graduation ring. It was a white gold ring with some diamonds on it. I could get another ring, but it's not... It would be the same. It's not the it? same, is it, no? No, it's not. That's right, Charlie, it's not the same. Now, I know that security was obviously something that you, you were conscious of. We always knew we needed to get a gate and there's, the alarm wasn't working. And I suppose it was things like that that we knew we had to do, but just kept putting it off. I really think that's something we might be able to help you with. So, Charlie, should we fix your place up, make it nice and safe? Yeah. Come on in, give me a big high five. Ready? Oh! <laughs> Whilst the police pursue the burglars and try to get back the stolen items, I'm determined to sort out the weak security measures at the family's home. Also, I really want to restore their peace of mind by transforming their ransacked living room. So I'm returning to the police headquarters to assemble a group of willing volunteers to overhaul Dave and Dee's home. Charlotte, it's Rav. Hi, is that Chris? John, hi, it's Rav. Darren, it's Rav. How you doing? Charlotte, I really need a favour. OK. We've just had a lovely couple that we've found have been burgled, and it's really, really shaking them up. And one of their biggest right. weakness on the house that they've got is the windows. I mean, your punching going to be the weakest point of your property. And I think that's where you could come in and help us out. Definitely, I'd love to. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, we'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for your help. I'll send you the details, and then I'll see you over the property. I look forward to seeing you. Take care, Ralph. And you. Bye-bye. My army of volunteers is really shaping up, and I know with their help we can definitely make a difference to Dave and Dee's lives. It's early afternoon, and back at their house, I'm eager to keep up the momentum of the security transformation. It only takes an intruder minutes to burgle your house. But with the right security measures in place, you could stop them completely. So I need to get a full security assessment. PC Paul Croft is here to give us his professional opinion. Paul, thanks for coming down. Obviously, this is the property that's just been burgled. What are you thinking? Got an alarm. 
Um, it looks fairly dated. It's not working. If you're looking at an alarm box and, and, and think it looks outdated and not working, a burglar could do the same. The offender will, will be doing yeah. exactly the same thing so yesterday. Straight away, that needs yeah. to be looked at. Now, we can see some lighting there, which is a good sign. I'm not sure if it's actually working. If you've got it, you need to maintain it so that it's effective and does the job that it was designed and put up to do. We could just walk straight through to the back there, so what do you think about that? The majority of burglaries are around the back of the houses because people can't see there. And a gate on there with a padlock, we're making it more difficult for the offender to get around the back, and so we're limiting the options. It's just that deterrent we want to get across, it's isn't it? it? Deter them from going through the back of someone yeah. else's home. That's right, yeah. Well, let's go and take a look now and see what's there. This is where they did eventually get in. They smashed through this um, patio door. Now, this isn't the worst patio door you can get security-wise, is it? No, it's not. It's an aluminium door. They are generally better than the UPVC uh, in terms of strength. And I think the fact they've put the, the glass through is, is looking at desperation, really. OK, Paul. Well, lots of uh, tips there, lots for us to be getting on with. Better get our skates on. <laughs> Cheers, mate. My mission is to get this security fix sorted, and my band of willing volunteers is already on the case. I'm replacing the defunct lights and alarm so the family can start to relax in their home again. Darren and his colleague are on the case. I'm also putting in a gate, as one of the biggest problems here is the easy access to the back garden. There's a ton of stuff for the guys to be getting on with, but it's not just about making the house secure. I want to make it feel like home, a place where Poppy and Charlie can feel safe and comfortable again. So I've called in designer Charlotte Brewer to help. Charlotte, thanks for coming up. Obviously, this is the family room that Dave and Dee share with their children, and, and this is the one that was broken into by the burglars, and they smashed that patio door. Glass was all over the kids' toys. They even stole one of Charlie's Christmas presents. Um, and it was completely ransacked. So we want to make this feel as, as calm and as, as nice as we possibly can after what happened. Yeah. Um, and that's where you come in. So you've had a look around. What do you think you can do? Um, well, I think, understandably, there's quite a few bits and pieces in this room that David and Dee want to keep, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, so it's just a case of really kind of accessorising what we've already got and kind of making additions instead of making any major changes. Uh, the sofas, for example, we're going to have them cleaned, have new inners put in the cushions so they'll feel like new, um, and then bring in some more vivid colours on the cushions to try and brighten up the space and make it more comfortable for them again. The security upgrade at Dave and Dee's home is coming on apace, and the police investigation is moving forward too. They're out in the community again, going house to house, looking for leads and offering support. You've all got your, your areas. Is there any questions from anybody? All right, lovely. All right, we'll get cracking then. We're here this morning to basically visit all the surrounding properties and reassure them, basically. Um, tend to find that a lot of neighbours uh, tend not to communicate very much anymore. It can be quite scary for them, I think, to find that one of the houses next to them might have been burgled. Um, it just offers the reassurance and makes them think about their own security a little bit more. The thing is, is that they've got through the window so it's been smashed. So probably a little bit of a noise been made at that time. So I don't know if you've heard or seen anything. Was it local whereabouts? It's just it? opposite. It's just on really? the Really? Yeah, yeah, on the right. road, yeah. No, nothing. The police have finished their door-to-door -door investigations. And as rush hour begins, back at the house, my team have finished installing the new alarm and lights. There's just one more thing to finish off before we call it a night. Sorted. The crime committed at Dave and Dee's house is still under investigation, and Chris Craven has potential leads to follow up. At this moment in time, the computers and the electrical items that have been stolen haven't come online. However, this doesn't mean to say that in three, four months' time that they're not going to come online. Those inquiries will still keep going. And also, we can't establish at this moment in time 
when somebody may take uh, these stolen items of jewellery into a gold shop because it's such a, an easily identifiable uh, article and it may be that in two or three months we'll receive a phone call from one of the gold shops to say that they have offered this ring for sale. It's a sunny Friday morning in West Yorkshire. Dave and Dee are getting ready to leave so we can really crack on with the transformation of their home. After everything that's happened, I think it's reassuring to know that uh, things are going to be happening to the house that will make it more secure and hopefully that reduce the chances of anything happening again. My calls have really paid off. I've spread word of the break-in far and wide and an army of good Samaritans are arriving to help get this family's life back on track. OK, folks, thanks for coming round at such short notice. Now, this is Dee and Dave's home, which they share with their two children, Charlie and Poppy. Now, some of you know them personally, many of you don't. But what they had happen to them is that someone has smashed their way in through their patio door, completely obliterated their family room, and have really, really upset them by ransacking their home. Now, for me, the worst part is how it's affected the young children. Now, I want to change that with your help. Let's make it as safe and secure as we possibly can. So let's get in there and let's get this place fixed up. Yay. Let's do it. To achieve my goal, we need to fix the garage roof install new windows, replace the smashed patio door and turn the living room back into a comfortable family space. It's massively important that we banish the bad memories of the burglary so they can feel safe in their home again. These timber windows, they've not got very good locking uh, systems on them, so we're going to increase the security of them, fit double glaze units with a six-point locking system to ensure that this doesn't happen again. And we're also going to be replacing the patio with a French door combination with a 10-point locking uh, mechanism with also security film as well to stop them from uh, punching through the glass. So it's going to be a lot more uh, warmer and a lot more secure. There's real motivation amongst the community to help Dave and Dee, especially as other people know exactly what they are going through. When the young men were about three months old, me and my girlfriend got broke into, and uh, it was a bit, you know, a bit heartbreaking, a bit emotional. We were asleep upstairs and got up the next morning for work, and uh, the house had been turned over. I know it's like, it's horrible. The security measures are really taking shape. So too are Charlotte's plans for the family room. So, Charlotte, you won't mind me saying there's still an awful lot of work that still needs to be done here. Um, and it must be difficult for you working with all, all the guys doing this as well at the same time. You kind of got to work around each other. Yeah, they're doing a great job putting the doors in. Um, when they're done, we'll start moving the furniture back into place. Um, we've got some pictures going up, cushions on sofas, nice big rug that will yeah, be coming in. Sofas look great, by the way. The had, they love this sofa, but they yeah, wanted so it clumped up. Had it cleaned, had it pumped up, so it should be like new for them. Um, and the addition with the cushions to just bring the whole colour scheme together. It's coming to the end of a long and productive day at Dave and Dee's house. Whilst we've been working hard, the police have also been doing all they can to capture the criminals. Unfortunately, the investigation has come to a dead end. But the hunt is never over for the police. Dave and Dee's burglary, unfortunately, wasn't unique in that area. They've broken into the garage first and removed the roof from it. And we've had a number of offences that have occurred in exactly the same way. Those offences have forensic potential and they have witnesses which are leading us to suspects. So what we'll do then is go back and revisit Dave and Dee's burglary, look at that in line with the suspects that we've got. There may be other evidence that comes to light, whether it be the electrical items or the jewellery that's been taken. We'll continue to bear that in mind while we're searching suspects' addresses. It's bright and early on our final day and my selfless team of volunteers are working flat out, making sure everything is perfect for Dave and Dee's return. Yeah. 
John the Glazer and Darren the Alarm Fitter have joined forces to come up with an ingenious idea. It's a tiny gadget which will hugely improve the security on the patio doors. So Darren, your alarm system's almost complete now. So tell me what you've done here with the patio doors. We've worked with John to put the patio doors in and we've managed to get the cable all the way up the frame. So we've got the vibration sensor here, which is a nice, neat finish. So you say the vibration sensor. Now that doesn't actually need the glass to smash, does it? If an intruder was to come up and give this door a, a whack, that is enough to set the alarm off. Yeah, any sort of attempted breakery on this uh, is going to trip that vibration sensor, it's going to go straight off. OK, now you've armed this now, the alarm is on. It is so on. I'm just going to test it to make sure that uh, this does actually work. So if I give this a whack, it should set the alarm off. Go for it. Fantastic. Better turn it off now. Yeah. <laughs> The work on Dave and Dee's home is almost complete. Their friends know all too well how much the team's efforts will help them move on. So they've come round to add their support. Charlotte, I've got here Oliver and Luke. Hiya. They're going to help you out. Now, guys, Charlotte here is helping make Charlie and Poppy's house nice, and she needs some help with the flowers. So you're going to give her a hand? We've got the parents here. We've got Gemma. These are your boys, aren't they? And Mikey and, and Laura, come over a, a moment. You guys all know Dee and Dave. Yeah. So between you, you all know how, how much this affected them. We had Charlie the night that it happened and he was upset. He was definitely a lot quieter than normal. A lot quieter. Which is completely yeah. understandable, isn't it? When something yeah. horrendous like this happened. I think it's helped knowing that, um, that you come round to give them a hand with the house and that they're going to be more secure, you know. They're pretty strong people, aren't they, really? Yeah. Um, and I think they're just kind of... The excitement of having this is good for them. It's nice to know that they've got friends and even little ones that are willing to give them a hand <laughs> Definitely. and sort it out again. Dave and Dee's home has been transformed, but before we reveal it to them, I want to find out what our crime reduction specialist, PC Paul Croft, thinks of the new security measures. We've replaced Dave and Dee's alarm and lights, adding dusk till dawn sensors all around the property. We've also put a brand new gate in and installed a high quality patio door with a state of the art vibration sensor. But how does Paul rate it? Do you think after your original assessment of the property, this is now safer and more secure than it was? A lot more safer, yeah. It's been a really good job as this one. And it's made the house uh, a lot more secure. That's what we want. Brilliant, thank you. I'm sure the family will be very happy to hear that. I'm sure they will. Dave and Dee's family life was left in turmoil when an intruder broke into their home, ransacking it and making it feel a scary and frightening place for their two young children, Charlie and Poppy. While the police have been on the trail of the burglars, my army of volunteers have turned this home into a safe haven once again, where the family can be at ease. But what will Dave and Dee make of their revamped home? They're back to take a look. Well, let's show you what we've done on the front of your property. First of all, you can see a new burglar alarm box. We put an intruder alarm in, so peace of I mind for you. Yeah, uh, also, you can notice there's a light on the front there, just oh, on the porch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what they refer to as a dusk till dawn type light. So every time it goes dark, that's automatically going to go on and just illuminate this area nice and gently. And also there's another light on the side of the property, exactly the same. And you can also see, just down the side, brand new gate. Okay. Excellent. Brilliant. Yeah. So some improvements there straight away, but let's go around the back because I want to show you some more. OK. OK, excellent. okay guys, obviously, if you look above there, got a new light as well Brilliant. and that's again dusk till dawn style now if you just shuffle over here wow brand new Brilliant. Look at that. doors Look at that. brand new Fantastic. okay now those doors are as safe as we can possibly get they're laminated okay. glass if anything was ever to be uh, smashed against the glass it's not going to shatter like before yeah. and all that glass going yeah. over yeah. your yeah. board games and all over your living room none of that anymore and they're linked up to a vibration sensor. So even a big whack on the door, when the alarm's set, is enough to set it off. Wow. Fantastic. Brilliant. They look amazing. Good. 
good. I thought Excellent. you'd like those. Yeah, thank you very brilliant. much. Thank like you. Those. Well, you can see, actually, that the curtains are drawn, so you're probably wondering what's the other side of the curtains. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as a little extra, we wanted to give you your family room back again. We've done a bit of work inside that uh, wow. I want to show you. Do you <laughs> want to take a look? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go definitely. In come on in. So if you come in, and this is just a little extra that we wanted to do for you, so it feels like you got your family space back again. Wow. wow, that's amazing. Amazing. Brilliant. All your pictures up there. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dave, you won't mind me saying this, I'm sure, but you were very fond of this sofa. Yeah. <laughs> now, what we've done is actually steam clean the sofa and filled it again. So it's had brand new filling, right. so it's nice and plump. So you can uh, laze around in that, I'm sure. <laughs> and have, Thank uh, you very much. Lovely. Uh, Brilliant. Yeah, lots of storage for you, lots of colour and a little area in the corner. I, lo the I love the, yeah, oh, that's yeah, brilliant. I love the that. rug and the picture. That's brilliant. But what we wanted to do is just try and give you that wow. feeling that this is your space again, and then we try and get rid of the memories of what happened. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you very brilliant. much. Brilliant, oh, it's fantastic. That's great. Do you think? Yeah. Um, do you think Charlie and Poppy will like it though? Oh, I think, I so. think they will. Yeah, <laughs> I think they will. Yeah. I think they will like that area yeah. there where they can do their own little drawing and bits and pieces. They will do. Yeah. Good boy, Charlie. You're gonna come in, yeah. Charlie. Look what we've done to your living room. Cool. <laughs> You like it? We've moved the chair. <laughs> <laughs> look what you've got in the corner. Table. Do you want to go across? Yeah, go and have a look. That's for you. Thank you. Come on, Poppy. Do you want to go and have a look? You can go and sit yeah. down. That's for you. Can I go outside? Go on, Poppy. Do you want to go outside? Yeah, let's go outside. Let's go outside. What about the doors? You like the new doors? Yeah. I think we're getting a thumbs up from them, too. I think so. Yeah, do you like definitely. it then? Yeah. Does yeah. it look better? Good. Yeah. There's obviously a lot of people that made this happen. Um, there was a massive team effort. They're all local tradesmen and women. They heard your story and they just wanted to help. That's and good, isn't it? they're outside. Okay, yeah. So would yeah. you like to say a quick hello? Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. Well. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So come on out. That's it, Charlie. Come up here. Come with Daddy. And Dee. Well, there's a few friendly faces you yeah, can see in there that you know. Yeah. There's John and Darren that did the alarm in the window. Right. Brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Locksmith. Right. Got everyone there. Yeah. Right. And where is he? Dave, there's a face you might recognise yeah, over there as well. Like, can you see uh, him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so feel free to go over and, and say hello. Let's go and say thank you to everyone. We feel a lot more safer now, don't we, I think? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But nobody's going to get through those doors anymore, are they? No, not at all. Look at that reaction. And I'm never going to get tired of seeing this. All these local tradesmen and women rushing round to help a family who so desperately needed them. And I think this is a big step in turning this house into their home once again. The look of the living room is fantastic. <laughs> no, it's brilliant. Absolutely love it. Really pleased. Every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs>